All right, people, welcome. I come to you full of hay fever. It's hay fever season, and my eyes are like shit. Um, but anyway, we're here to go through my favourite Martin Scorsese films, um, which won't take very long. But when it comes to Scorsese, most people will say, or a lot of people will say, one of the greatest ever, one of the greatest directors working today. And I've seen a lot of his films, most of his films, and I've never seen a bad film. You know, cinematography, acting, cash choice, dialogue, everything that goes into making a good film, Scorsese has that in abundance. So I've never seen a bad film. But there's only six films that I can truly say that I enjoy it. I like that. There's lots I think are okay. You know, decent. Um, but there's some that I straight up don't like. So we're going to run through the ones that I do like real quick. Because everyone knows Martin Scorsese. So the first one is one that a lot of people would have as number one. And it's Taxi Driver. Um, I like it. I love seeing cities at night time. I love seeing the underbelly of a city. Um, and throw in De Niro's performance and I like that quite a bit number five is a film I've only seen once and I, then I bought it and it's still in the cellophane but I've seen it once and it's it still stick with me I can say I can remember certain scenes and I watch a lot of films you know I watch a lot of films I only watch films once and I don't remember them you know in two days time but I remember a lot about this film again powered by De Niro not sure if I saw this or Joker first, but either way, that is very, very good. I like it. Number three, no. Number four is Gangs of New York. Great setting. Another setting that I love. Um, I love the time period. Um, Daniel Day-Lewis is phenomenal. Um, and that is just... That's great stuff. That's that's a great film. Not only do I enjoy it, that's a great film, in my opinion. Number three is a film that I've come to enjoy, and it is Goodfellas. Haven't liked it for years, thought it's okay, it's overrated, and maybe I still think it's a tad overrated by some people. I have a great time when I watch this, and we all know the, the Joe Pesci scene. Now, take them people... I'm moving to Vegas, and you have Casino at number two. Um, Joe Pesci again. Beats the, I think he, he stabs the shit out of someone with a pencil or with a pen or something. Kept just jabbing him in the in the throat. Um, again, throwing these people in a, again, the location, a, a casino. You know, this a casino is as alien to me as if I went to Jupiter. But that's a, that's a fantastic film. But amongst all that violence and fuck you, fuck you, think I'm funny, bang, 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 stab, stab, stab. Amongst all that, that is my favourite Scorsese film. Hugo, beautifully set in a train station, the kind of train stations you don't have anymore. Um, throw in towards the end, we find out Ben Kingsley is George Melies. And he runs us through how he made his films, just to see that in big, bright colour. Um, just a very nice film. Very good-looking film, and I highly enjoy that. That, surprisingly, maybe, is my favourite Martin Scorsese films. Now, if someone wanted to watch The Departed, I could watch The Departed. Someone wants to watch, I don't know, Cape Fear. I could watch Cape Fear. But I just think they're, you know, they're decent. They are the films that I truly enjoy. And that's it. 